Hey, hi everybody, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. I'm with my dog Sears Black because when I turn on the camera, he loves to stand right next to me. We've had a lot of questions about how to do the easy strength programs. Hardest thing to learn about the easy strength programs is you're in and you're out. Uh, people ask all these questions of, like, uh, how long's the rest period? What about all this stuff? Folks, it, you just do the workout and walk out. Uh, sometimes I don't even break a sweat. So I'm going to try to rush through an easy day on easy strength. I'm going to use light bells, like the ones I probably used like when I first moved to California. I only had one and then later two bells. Um, generally, I start off with a set of goblet squats. So let's begin real, which is, oh, that feels good. This is basically the warm up for easy strength. Now, I can certainly drop and go deeper. As I'm filming this, I'm very sore from a weightlifting meet, so I'm doing my best. Okay, there's your warm up. With this example today, I'm doing an easy day, so I'm going to do two sets of five in the overhead press, two hangs, deficit deadlift, the ab wheel, and I'll do some swings. Uh, I could also do some suitcase carries at the end of this one. And so I'll show you examples of both. So let's get started. It's an easy day. So I walked in here and I felt like two light kettlebells. So let's get started. Set one of two down when I first did this program. I had two daughters in middle school, and my wife was on the road all the time, and I used to train at an international level, and my weight workouts were about 15 minutes each. You can get a lot done if you just do the work. That's set one, now set two. I'm done pressing for the day. That's it. Tomorrow, if I was doing this, I'd probably do three sets of three at a fairly heavy weight. Since I'm lifting five days a week, I know that one of the days I'm gonna go heavy and a couple of days will be tonic. So, if you're doing the program and you do the vertical push and vertical pull, one of the things I recommend on the easy days is simply hanging. So you would do two rounds of hanging here. Now, how long is that going to take? Well, not very long. Generally, I would suggest going for, uh, don't go to failure, go to 30 seconds or so. Generally, I face the other way, look at the clock. So let's just pretend that was 30 seconds. I'm going to breathe out. Hopefully, you know, if I've got kids, they're not killing each other in the house. Uh, you'll be surprised how quickly you recover from everything. It's just stunning how it works. The biggest question I get is on rest. And the point I'm trying to make here is rest just isn't that important. You get that 11 to 15 minute workout in, and then you rest 23 hours and 45 minutes. Or if you're doing your sport, you go out and play your sport. Let's pretend this is another set of 30. So I'm over here hanging around. We're gonna move to the hinge next. So vertical, push the press, vertical pull, in this case the hang uh, the hang or the pull up or the chin up, and that was 30 seconds. I shake it out. Almost universally when I do the easy strength programs, I never take the load off the bars. So when I did this with trap bar deadlifts, the load was always on there. Probably like 185 pounds would just be the standard. Certainly you'd go heavier than that. Today I do deficit deadlifts because it's loaded. Uh, again, I'll just do two sets of five. This is a fairly lightweight, and I'm gonna focus on really reaching back with the bell.
The best exercise I've ever used in this program in the hinge was the thick bar, the thick bar deadlift. Uh, it's just perfect for easy strength. Um, I can't believe how strong my grip got. And it was so evident in my Olympic lifting and my Highland game stuff. I'm sure it helped with my discus throwing, but boy, it really helped with the throwing in the Highland games. I really owned the weights. My grip got really strong. Uh, that's about as long as I'd normally rest, so. Shake it out, knowing I'm coming back tomorrow to do more. I believe my dog just farted. Thank you. The ad wheel. Generally, I do one set of 10 or two sets of five. Uh, Reminder, over the week, that'll be 50 reps. Now, there's one of two ways I'd go after this workout. First, put the ab, ab wheel away. There's basically one of two things I would do. Either I would do a suitcase carry, or a farmer walk, or some kind of loaded carry. If all you got is one kettlebell, no problem. You always do a suitcase carry. So pretend I'm walking down the street, I go for a distance, I turn around, and I walk back home. That by itself might be enough. I could also do rack carries down the street. I could do waiter walks. I could combine the three any one way I want. I could do horn carries. Uh, or carry two farm walk. The other thing is I, I often do is basically five sets of 15 in the swing. Whew. With the swings, I might need a little bit more rest. I shake it out. If I'm a discus thrower, this might be a good time to pull out my notebook, look at what I'm focusing on this week technically, thinking through how can I get better, making a few notes. Shake it out. I'm gonna pretend this is a set of 15. This is about where I'd wanna at about this level of breath is about ready when I want to go back in and do it again. I can talk, but I'm still breathing. Fourteen, fifteen. Okay. So that was five sets of fifteen, <laughs> and I loved it. We've been here just a few minutes, but I wanted to show you the idea. The hardest thing to get used to is. You gotta throw out percentages, you gotta throw out rest periods, and think about, I'm coming back in tomorrow. If the weights feel light, I go heavier. If the weights feel heavy, I go lighter. If I feel like I'm ready to rip the head off the world, then I really go after it. One out of five workouts, it's gonna be pretty good. One out of five workouts, it's not gonna be very good. Three out of five, what I call punch the clock workouts. 
Here's your goal. If you do the 40 day style, we're hoping you get eight good workouts. In those eight good workouts, you might get two great ones. And let me tell you folks, in a two month period, two great workouts where you get personal records and you move up, over time, you're gonna have a pretty good size engine. I'm Dan John, I hope that helped.